Okay, this is a wagon vise that I've designed for my new bench. It's going to operate with wedges because shipwrights like to use wedges. And I'm too cheap to buy a screw handle. And I like to reinvent the, the wheel. What do you say? Anyway, um, here we go. You would put your piece against one of the dogs in your bench. You could come back as far as this pole, or as short as there. There are four inches between those. So you've got four inches leeway to start with. That means that if I can travel two inches with my wedge, I can have my dog hole six inches apart. In fact, I can travel three and a half inches. So what you would do, you'd place your piece here. You'd slide the appropriate hole up against it and simply tighten it with your wedge. If it's farther out, you slide it up against one, maybe drop in a shim like that, and you slide it up with your wedge. If it's a little farther out, you drop in another shim, slide up against, drop in another shim, maybe two, maybe three, no, maybe only two, and again, you tighten it up. So in fact, I've got three and a half inches of travel. This pops up from the bottom. These pop out. Should I want to, uh, if the wagon gets sticky or anything like that, this will be trapped in the bench right now. I just have a clamp on it. But I can lift this block out, which is kind of interesting. It's a modified deck beam joint. At that point, I can slide the wagon back to here and lift it out, clean things, replace the wagon, drop the deck beam joint back in. As I say, it'll be snug because it'll be trapped in the bench. And there you go. These little wedges, these little shims, will stay in my center well in my bench. So there you go, wagon base. The only thing left to find out now is if my 8 degrees will actually stick it, and I'm pretty sure it will. Thanks for watching.